every time the fire appear in the circuit then the seven segment display number change basically in fire the ir ray activate the circuit and it will change the number of the seven segment display to do this thing stay with me and see my video completely For this project we need a breadboard, 220 ohm resistor and 10k resistor, I receiver LED, four thousand and twenty-six IC, seven segment display which is common cathode. BC 547 which is NPN transistor some wire first connect BC 547 in the circuit and collector pin of the transistor is connecting in the positive rail and base pin add a wire and opposite side of the wire is connected with negative part of the IR receiver and positive part of the IR receiver is connected with positive rail of the breadboard. Now positive terminal of LED is connecting in the emitter pin of transistor. Now ground the LED. Connect power in the circuit. Here you can see in the fire the LED started to glow. Now the fast circuit is successfully connected. Now connect 4026 IC in the breadboard. And pin number 8 is connecting in the negative rail. and pin number 16 is connecting in the positive rail and pin number 15 is connecting in the negative rail of the breadboard also connect pin number 2 of IC in the negative rail of the breadboard connect 7 segment display in the breadboard now 10 number pin of the IC is connected with A pin of 7 segment display and 12 pin of the IC is connected with B pin of 7 segment display and 13 number pin of the IC is connected with C pin of 7 segment display. Now D pin of 7 segment display is connected with 9 number pin of IC Now E pin of 7 segment display is connected with 11 pin of IC Now pin number 6 of the IC is connected with F pin of 7 segment display and pin 7 of the IC is connected with a G pin of 7 segment display. Now finally ground the LED with 220 ohm resistor. In first pin add 10 kilo ohm resistor and opposite side of the resistor is connecting in the negative rail of the breadboard. In pin number 1 also add a wire. Now connect power again. Pin number 1 is a clock pin and that pin is connected with positive. If the IC get positive clock pulse, then the number changes. Now you can see the second circuit, which is 7 segment circuit, also successfully connected in the breadboard. Now, emitter pin of the transistor is connected with first pin, which is clock pin of the IC. The emitter pin is connected with first pin of the IC. So this is the circuit diagram 
With the help of Fire, we can change the number of 7 segment display. In Fire, we found IR array and that IR array received by this IR receiver. When Fire appear in the circuit, this IR receiver received the IR array and current will flow to first pin to second pin of this IR receiver. And the second pin of the IR receiver is connected with base pin of a BC547 which is NPN transistor and NPN transistor active by positive current when base current get the positive current a uh, little amount of current will flow to collector to emitter and emitter pin is connected with first pin of 4026 IC and first pin is the clock pin in default the first pin is connected with ground with the help of 10k but when this transistor active basically when the IR receiver get IR rate this transistor active and current will flow to collector to emitter and pin number one which is clock pin get a positive clock pulse and this IC will change that number in this IC the 10 number pin is connected with a pin of seven segment display the here we can found also the pin configuration of seven segment display the a pin is here and that pin is connected with 10 number pin of this IC also the 16 number pin is connected with 5 volt and 8 number pin is connected with ground 2 pin is connected with also ground and 15 pin also connected with ground so this is the circuit diagram now connect power again every time when fire appear in the circuit the IR receiver receive the ray of fire and it will active the transistor and that transistor give a positive clock pulse of the IC and that IC change the number of 7 segment display So if you like my video then don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video